Hi my Capricorns, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your 10 day spread for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media, it's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out my website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Um, I've added tons of new stuff to the website, jamiezebra23.com. I've been out of stock candle-wise, but the candles will be in stock starting next week. So this is your 10-day forecast for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm using the English Magic Tarot deck. Um, so these are the five cards that you've got. You've got the King of Coins in the reverse, which could very well be a queen. You've got the Empress upright. You've got the Knight of Swords upright. You've got the Wheel of Fortune upright. And then you've also got the Eight of Wands upright. So here's what we got going on for the next 10 days, Capricorn. We got the King of Coins in reverse. So this is a boss that's in the wrong. You've got a boss. You've got a, a supervisor, somebody who's overseeing everybody that's in the wrong. Um, I feel like some of you could be sexually harassed this week by someone. I feel like some of you may um, face discrimination this week. There's some sort of uh, unfair practices going on in the next 10 days. I feel like... Um, I feel like you can handle this and with the knight of swords this, this is typically like a lawyer or somebody charging in to defend you or somebody charging in to um to make things even and fair like you can't get away with this i'm on my way over to your house to settle this right now it's that kind of energy so try not to tangle with a um with a gemini a libra or an aquarius or a sagittarius Leo, or aries because it could get nasty um, big emphasis on Aries, big emphasis on, um, on, uh, Gemini, because it looks like they could do something underhanded to you. Also, some of you are dealing with a, um, with a fellow earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo romantically. It shows that this person is not employed because we got the king of coins in reverse. So this could be a man or a woman. They're not employed. I feel like somebody, somebody wants someone to believe that they're employed. I feel like this person may do odd jobs here or there, or they may, um, help a friend out working here or there, but they don't have a job. And, um, and for some reason they think that you'll be able to take care of them or help them or do some nice things for them. Let me see what these numbers are. We've got some numbers here as well. So in the reverse, this is what the numbers come out as. I don't know if these numbers mean anything to you guys. We got a five, we got a nine, we got a 21, we got a 14, a four, a 12, a zero, a seven, 16, 20, one, 18, eight, 11, two, and 13. And then there's also runes etched into these cards. So some of you need to balance your masculine and feminine energy in the next 10 days. Um, also, some of you, um, you need to focus on creating wealth for yourself, creating a strong future. And then um, you guys have a lot of joy coming your way. Um, some of you, you have a, um, a journey coming. You're going on a trip soon. There's a trip that's coming, but because it's in reverse, it's all postponed. Those runes, because all those upright, they're, it's postponed. Um, because it's in the reverse. Yeah, you guys need to... Um, also, there is a situation where there is um, like ill will. Somebody's wishing bad upon you. Also, somebody's going to see someone... And this person, like a card reader or some sort of a palm reader, some sort of fortune teller, it looks like whoever this is, they um, they may be, they may be jealous of you. So be careful who you're going to because they may, they might see that you got positive stuff coming your way, and this might be like annoying to them. They might be like, so like let's say you go to someone and you're like, my whole life is ruined and I'm everything's falling apart. When really the the whoever you're dealing with, their life is actually falling apart and yours is actually pretty incredible. But you're like crying over spilled milk. Be careful because those people are haters and they're weird. So yeah, just be careful of dealing with jealous people. Any Anybody who's kind of jealous or, or you feel that energy towards them, stay away. Because that's like a very serious thing. Um, yeah, pretty weird. Also, especially if you're a fellow reader or a fellow spiritual person, be careful who you go to because people get jealous like that's your competition, that sort of thing. You know, people really shouldn't think that way because it blocks their blessings. That's why we say, you know, if you if somebody feels called to like do a YouTube channel or if they feel called to get into this, do it. Like don't let anybody else tell you not to do it. 
So it looks like some of you have bought your own deck and you're able to decipher what's going on in your own life and you could possibly help others figure that out too. So make sure that you only talk to like-minded people. But again, make sure that you're not, um, you know, bringing on jealousy and envy. So, so be selective with who you tell your business to this week, whether it's in spiritual or just at period your business. Just don't tell anybody too much unless it's like, unless they need to know. Also with the Eight of Wands, some of you are calling it quits. You're, you're like, F it with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Some of you are going to ask somebody to terminate their parental rights. Some of you are going to, like, it's been a makeup, breakup, makeup, breakup, or this person's kind of been lingering in your life because you do, you are tied to children. But it looks like, um, it looks like whoever, this could be you or the other person, they're throwing the wands in the air like, you know what? Just leave me alone and never, never look at me again. Never talk to me again. Forget my name. Just you go live your life and I'll live mine. I want nothing more to do with you. So, yeah, some of you are going to get your wish and then others of you are going to wish that you didn't behave a certain way because somebody's leaving your life. So for some of you, this is a good thing. For some of you, this is a regretful thing. All right, my Capricorns, that was your 10-day uh, spread. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.